Hey friends and welcome back to another Acolyte review and oh my gosh that was an episode. So that was episode um, five, four, five, um, four I think it is, um, called Night. Um, so that was no, episode five called Night. Um, wow, yeah. So just to let you know guys, um, there's not going to be um, any non-spoiler um, reviews in this it's all gonna be spoilers so if you haven't watched it yet and you don't want any spoilers then just pause this video go and watch it and then come back and let's get chatting um, but yeah I'm just gonna go straight into the spoilers with it um, and oh my gosh it's like I think this is the best episode so far and it's like yes there's a lot of action in it and I'm not saying that it's the best because of the action because I love story um, and things but this was shocking it was a very shocking episode um it's, it's just wow it's just wow so um let's just dive into it first of all practically everyone died so in that battle um with the sith lord everyone dies so um apart from Saul um and Osha, which is wow okay um I, I knew it was going to happen with a lot of the Jedi because you that's why they, they put so many in there so then there'd be some survivors but I didn't expect what actually happened so it was really cool because like you've seen one dead Jedi first of all um, on the floor and it's like okay great um, that it's not just like a um, Palpatine battle in the Revenge of the Sith where um, for the best Jedi go and three die straight away. Um, it was really, it was much better um, than that. So, um, and you get to see the Jedi holding their own. Um, and what I thought really good, let's talk about that little battle sequence first. It's like, it's away from where he force pushed them and you can see the spread because all the soil had been moved. And that was really nice little attention to detail there. Um, and you could they were in like slight forest area because obviously that's a bit of cover it's not open so you can um, guide around trees and what have you and things like that um and it wasn't the fact of like the jedi would die in straight away it's like they were putting up a fight and things and um it was really cool to watch him moving in and out of them and he was like sliding in and like he was quite fast and nimble and things which is really cool to see because like most of the sith lords we've seen are just brute strength really so he's more nimble going through everything um one bit i really loved is when um he like bashed two of the jedi's lightsabers um i'm guessing he's got a best uh best car um arm thing on um and it just kind of like shorted them out and things and they were like what and then he went after um yord um fighting him sliced his leg um so he fell on the floor um and then the lightsabers came back so then he came back. but the really cool thing is like they killed one and then um skewered the other one and they used a force pull to pull the other one onto it and it's like that is amazing so every time i've seen something similar to that happen is in uh force unleashed in the dlc uh the star killer dlc um where he is the sith assassin um and he and there's a bit in there with them um, on uh the Battle of Endor, so in, on Endor, and you're fighting Chewie and uh, Han, um, and then um, you like come, uh, go up to Chewie, who's in this at ST, and you pick him up, um, and you're about to kill him, and Han's like Chewie, and he's like shooting, um, and then Starkiller just pulls Chewie in front of the blasts, so pretty much Han kills Chewie. And um, Han's like, no, like that. And then um, Starkiller uh, force pulls um, Han onto his lightsaber. So that was a nice little thing there. I think they kind of did uh, pay homage to that um, there. Um, ah, that's it, yeah. His helmet does look a little bit like Starkiller. Hmm. Not fully, but um, it does look a little bit like Starkiller's helmet. Um, so yeah, wow, okay, so that was that, um, and then um, he's going to go attack Yord, but then Osha shoots him, um, and he's a bit annoyed as he comes over, and you notice then that 
his arms are bare apart from this um, little foreguard but there and he's like filthy it's like, it's like oh cool really cool that is um and then um yeah it's like the battle then with um oh let's just say jackie now jackie is absolutely amazing in it she's so you could tell that she's angry um in it as well um but she's powerful for um for a padawan really because that's all she is you know, she's not a knight she's a padawan uh, she's soul's um apprentice and she's really cool and everything it's like she's she's the epiphany of jedi really i think that's she is what jedi i think should be she's she's compassionate um understanding of of what's right and wrong um and tries to like influence other people for what's right and wrong um but then um yeah um i'm just gonna say it now it's like i did not expect what happened with her it's like i had a I had a feel that they were gonna kill her um in it because i just think it's like they begin up this like like i said last week it's like they begin her up her and osha's um relationship there so i think she was gonna die <clears throat> in this but then the way she was fighting back i thought oh no she actually got a chance but then you know when <clears throat> he uh has his lightsaber and then pulls the lightsaber apart and that's really cool as well that is homage to um a little bit of homage to um jedi uh fallen order jedi survivor um where he can pull his lightsabers apart um ventress um oh ventress sorry um hers can come together and come apart um so it's a little bit um like that really but no it's like he pulled that apart and didn't just stab it once stabbed it three times and it's like what and it's in front of the soul as well um so like that was powerful that was a powerful move there um and but then that's not all and it's like yod finally comes back and even like when sol tells yod to take osh uh osha from there um he's like yes okay no it's fill into the ship and runs off and stuff and when that whole journey you could tell he's just afraid um he's seen his um his cohort um being murdered by this sith lord and he's got slashed and things so he's afraid he knows he's going to die so he wants to take osha back to the ship to follow orders i think it's he didn't want to die um because osha was like we need to go back we need to go back and it's not like he's a good jedi it's like i will follow orders it's like i'm going to die here if i keep in this battle uh so i'm going to take it back to the ship um so then they take and uh, they do go back and help in the little fight um but then yord is instantly um like disabled and he snaps his neck and it's like wow so it's like when jackie died i all me was like no i was like what because like because i thought she had a chance and things like and it was just like the way that it happened I was like, what um but then when yord died i actually went fudge but fudge being a swear word instead of fudge um i was like well, I did not see that coming because he was just like, whoo, whoo. it's like, whoa. So the reason why I'm mainly surprised is they kill them all. <laughs> it's like usually you have uh, your red shirts, if you will, um, they, and they die, and then you've got the main crew. They're like, oh, we'll, they might get battered up, but they're fine. No, um, no one's safe, really, in this. And that's what I love about this episode. This is why it's the best episode. All bets are off anyone can die in it so it is a guessing game um with it um so we re it was revealed that uh, the sith lord um was um the um alchemist guy which i said last week i think it might be him um so yeah that was a little bit um of um foresight but there for me um uh, but it's like saul's little battle with him he's like you could tell now Saul is a great Jedi Master and he's powerful um, and he, he definitely is worth that um, blue lightsaber of the, the Guardians because he is strong um, there because he didn't even need his lightsaber, he was kicking butt um, just like Jackie, Jackie was kicking butt too um, but Saul was definitely kicking butt with just his fist because he, he managed to punch off and destroy his uh, uh, the, the Sith Lord's um, helmet and things like so um 
<laughs> and one thing um, Saul does say, he says, um, why did you reveal yourself? Um, and uh, the Sith Lord was like, well, I, went, I did wear a mask. <laughs> so that was quite funny there. Um, but Norris, um, he did identify himself as Sith. He said, uh, well, he said that you are in the sun, it would be the Sith. Um, so it is the start of it. So obviously with the Star Wars saga, they don't know about the Sith until um, Anakin um, reveals um, Palpatine. Um, well, till no, sorry, until Qui-Gon says about um, Darth Maul um, into the, the Jedi Council. Um, and they, they go, the Sith have been um, extinct for a millennia. So I don't think all this is revealed to the, all of the Jedi. It's just all hush-hush, I think, which is quite interesting there. Um, he's very menacing as a as a sith lord this guy um because he's got no rules he's got no um well no plan that we can see he just wants to use his power um and just <laughs> live his life really like but i think he just wants to be i am more powerful and i can do what i want type thing um and he's like saying that the jedi won't let him live and stuff it's like well they probably would let you live if you just like remain silent and didn't come off and murder everyone um but there we go um so he's not happy with me um because she he, she betrayed him uh so i think she he is now after osha and i'm going to try and um turn osha um against the jedi uh, by telling him um a lot of um secrets that um about sol and things i think we might know more about Saul and what happened in the next episode but I don't think it's going to be a, a full-on flashback episode I think it's going to be back and forth uh, type thing really I don't think we are going to have a flashback episode that I think we were going to have I think it's going to be more um sitting down talking because now see May is now pretending to be Osha so Saul will tell her the series of events and then she might be like no that didn't happen blah 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 um but um yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. Um, and the same then with the Sith Lord and um, Osha. I think he's going to be like, this is what happened. And she'll be like, no, that can't be, blah, blah, blah. And maybe she might turn a little bit. Um, so who knows there. But I think in the end, she will come back um, and defend the Jedi Order, um, really. Um, oh, what else? So there's a couple of lines in it um, that I quite loved, like, easter eggy type lines um so mentioned about like the mask and uh, the way that he killed uh killed him and stuff like so i killed those two jedi um but one of the lines that um may says is like um they turned you against me um which is what anakin says in revenge of the sith um about or something similar um about padme um it's like um she got turned against turned against Anakin um so they turned you against me <laughs> so that's quite it's I love all these little tiny nods and stuff into it it's like really cool there but overall fantastic very shocking um emo emotional um episode it's like I physically I verbally <laughs> like my disbelief came out verbally um twice quite loudly um in it so yeah and that was that's nice so i am looking forward to how the story's progressing um now with it so i think we have three episodes left um now so that's not too many episodes left um so episode six is you six or seven is usually where we do get that flashback episode but like i said i think it's going to be a mixture of a flashback episode really um so it's not going to be a full-on flashback um and then seven will be um leading up to the end battle and then eight will be the battle i don't know whether he's going to die the sith lord because is he um is he the sith lord that trains palpatine or is he the sith lord that trains palpatine's master um because it is a hundred years so it's quite possible that he is uh, palpatine's master there or are there other sith hidden around the galaxy um which more likely um 
to be honest. But um, there you go. So let me know, guys, in the comments what your theories are. Um, what did you think of this episode as well? Were you shocked at the deaths? Um, did do you think that Jackie and Yord should have lived? Um, I'm a bit shocked with like, well, who's left? You got Saul, and Osha, and me. Um, so yeah. Happy days. But thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and also give us a little like and consider joining our membership. We've got lots of videos coming up. And also next month, we have a very, very special announcement to make. So keep an eye out for that. But until next time, bye, guys.